just doing a little sh uh, demonstration on my home built CNC plasma table. I can fit a 36 inch by 48 inch sheet. I can only cut 30 by 48, which is still a pretty generous size. But I built this primarily with open build parts based off of an Ox CNC router. You can see I've got the price arc uh, voltage height control, which has been working great for me. I've got a Everlast uh, 60 amp plasma, and that blower down there is uh, from a Harbor Freight dust collector. This is a downdraft table, although um, if I'm doing a lot of cutting, I need to use it. If I don't, it's really not a big deal. It's been working great. I just cracked the garage door open and blows all the smoke out. Even after I cut, if it's a little smoky in here, I run that for two minutes and the whole garage is clear. Um, it's a little noisy, so I probably won't run it for the cut. It's kind of going over here. A little messy in here, but there is my computer setup. So it's just on a swing arm. And it's just a little mini PC running Windows 10. Uh, Mach 3 and Sheet Cam are loaded up on there. So I just uh, put my DXF file in, um, just go off of my cut settings, and then I can go ahead and start cutting. I can control it from the keyboard or from the Xbox controller. And um, just give you a little bit of a demonstration on this guy. I built this about two years ago. Uh, it's actually been running pretty awesome. I um, have belt drive set up from open builds, but if you can see down in there, moving it over to the side, there's another belt that's glued down inside of there, and that actually creates almost like a track system, which allows me to run this 5mm belt without any issues. And this 5mm belt I thought was going to be fine just because they use it on routers, and there's no load on this it's a plasma table but the heavy gantry because it's so big it does have some flex and as soon as i uh, glued the uh, belt system in upside down in the track or inside of the rail it, it pretty much fixed that so i got it dialed in it's still not complete i've been running it this way for two years i want to add some extra shielding and i actually want to do a hybrid system inside where there'll be a, a pan with some screens that can collect water and then have a drain for it and I want to run a water cooling setup for really thin metals where it just basically squirts water right on top of the uh, sheet as you're cutting it but you know I cut 60 thousandths 40 thousandths aluminum all the time and as long as you cut it fast enough you don't really have an issue with warping so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just cut out some stuff that I designed when I don't have any orders or anything that I'm making for myself or for my web store, I usually do artistic stuff that um, my parents have a little booth they sell this kind of stuff out of and I, I load that booth up and try to get orders or sales that way so try to maximize when the machine's running. Uh, we'll go ahead and get started here. Make sure you check it out.
The ladies love it.